when you cross over from the wood side into the blue creek, you'll end up in 208. When you get out to the hallway, you're going to go around the corner, going to go to the right, and right there you'll see the map. This is where our map is for the Blue Creek. It looks like this. We're going to go around the corner, and then you'll see an enemy come through here. Um, as you can see, I've already ended it, but he's right there. Just kill him. Um, we're going to go through here, going to see a crack in the wall. We're going to go through here. This should be room 204. 204 is, we're just kind of getting through it. <sighs> All right, we want to get out to the second floor hallway. You'll find another enemy here. As you can tell, I've already ended them. So, we're in the second floor, okay? There's room 202. We want to get to 212. 212 is basically, it should be right here. It should be this open door right here. And when you go in, you'll see a save point. That's your first save point. And then you'll see this. You're going to go ahead and unveil this. This is the clock. This clock is basically the main puzzle of this side of the dungeon. What we need is the hour, the minute, and the second hand, okay? So, you are in room 212. That being said, the hardest part is finding the hour hand. So, when you're in 212, you're gonna go back out onto the balcony. You're gonna go through 203. Go through 203. Look out for legs. You're gonna pop out, get to your bitch. We're gonna hit him, and then we're gonna end him. Okay. From 203, we're gonna go to this wall. We're gonna just go ahead and break through it. Cut through. We'll be in 205. We're gonna just go through 205, go around. We actually wanna go to this window. Go out to the fire escape, pop it. We're gonna go up to the third floor. You'll see an opening right here. We're gonna go ahead and step onto this little crate thing and into the window. This is where it gets difficult. We're going to end up in 303. We have to navigate through here. We want to get through 303. What we're trying to do is get to 307. I just, there's a lot of enemies here. So what I do is I just run by them. Just run by them because we want to get to room 307. There you go, 307. When you get into this room, you're going to see a giant radio. See that hand right there in the middle? That is the hour hand, okay? From there, you're gonna go to the right. You're gonna see a room that looks like it needs a valve. We're gonna get that valve. You go right to the left. You're gonna go out here to the balcony, under the fire escape. We're gonna jump back into 305. The window will shut. There will be a key right here. This is room 306. We're gonna grab it. We're gonna go to the left. You're gonna see a valve here. We want to turn that valve. It'll bust open. Homeboy will come through the door. We end him. Go back out. Go back out. Gonna go down the uh, hallway of 303. There'll be a mannequin to the right. Just go ahead and end him. And then we go into room 306. Use that apartment key. In here, you're gonna do a lot of dodging and weaving. You're gonna go down, and we just wanna go to the right and look for the hole in the floor. Hole in the wall, I guess. Climb under. Climb under through it. We're in uh, this room. We're in room 304. We're gonna go ahead and kill legs. Missed. Whoa. There you go. We'll also kill the spitter. Okay, we're in room 304. We're gonna take this valve. We're gonna turn it. This is the valve we need to. Okay, it's gonna bust. We're gonna go ahead and take that valve. Okay, this is where it gets really tricky. We're in room 304. Okay, we need to get to 307. So it's a lot of dodging. So just go out to the third floor hallway. Watch legs. Legs is gonna run around. He's gonna be right there. We're gonna let it go. Dodge. If you needed to dodge. Get to room 307. Okay. We're gonna go to that place where it has the valve. Go ahead and turn that valve. Turn the valve again. Alright. That'll actually make the radio drop from the next room. We're gonna grab it. There is our hour hand. That is the most difficult piece to get. We're gonna go back out behind it onto the fire escape. If you go to the left, you'll see a switch here. You're gonna hit that switch. It drops the fire escape. You go to the left, you'll see a giant H on this door. That is the hour room. You'll hear it knock. We're gonna go here. Put the hour hand here. We're gonna actually go put it to the nine. It'll ding. We're gonna go back to that hour room. Okay. Now we're on the second floor. This is 210. We're gonna go around 210 and into the kitchen. 
Gonna bust open this door, or this wall. This should get you into the 210 bathroom. Before I do that, I always open the locked door. Okay, you gotta put your hand into this gross ass toilet. You gotta put your hand in the Silent Hill shit. <laughs> it's so gross. Uh, what does Silent Hill shit feel like? <laughs> Alright, this should get you the minute hand. You'll hear everything go back out the doorway. Everything will change. Grab this dub. We need this dub. Homeboy will come through here. Take a left. We're gonna end him. We want to get to 209. 209, we want to get to the bathroom. You hear the frame? Pretty cool, huh? Go to the bathroom, break the shower, grab the malform figurine. Okay. Go back out 209. Homeboy should bust through. And him. Okay. We're gonna go back out to the second hallway. We're gonna go all the way down. If you notice at the very far end, you're gonna see a place where you can break the wall. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, climb through. Okay, this cut. So here you're gonna be faced with two mannequins. You'll see one of them walk by, right? You just go ahead and hit that guy. He should come out. After you kill the two mannequins, grab this swan head. Great. Open up your inventory. Take the swan head and combine it with the mouth figurine. Now we have the swan figurine. Go back out 211 through the crack hole. We want to go back to 210. Okay. 210 is where we came out of. You're going to see this in the living room, this like little balancing thing. You want to put the dove on the left, or pigeon on the left, and then we're going to take the swan figure, put it on the right. We're going to pick the swan figure up. We're going to go one, two, three, in. That'll balance. It'll crumble, and we get the wing key. All right, take the wing key. We're going to go use it to this door right here to the left. Remember, we're in 210. There's a hole in the floor. We're going to drop down. This will get us to 110. So from here, we're gonna go around. We wanna get, go through this crack hole into 110. We wanna actually get to 109. So go take a left, go all the way down this hallway. So that was 110, we need to get to 109. Go ahead into 109 and open this door and we'll be treated to a cool cutscene. I'm gonna shut up now. Oh, it's you. Yeah. I'm James. Angela. Angela. Okay. Look, I'm not sure what you're planning, but there's always another way. Really? What's the point? It's easier just to run. Maybe it's all we deserve. We? Me. You. We are all the same. I'm not like you. Are you afraid? Sorry. It's okay. Did you find your mother? No. Not yet. Did she live here? In this building? I don't know. So all you know is that she lived in this town? What did you say? How did you know that? Well, I just figured because this is where you're looking for her. How else would I know? Yeah.
Sorry. Did you find the person that you were looking for? Not yet. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. I don't know why I think she's here. She... She died three years ago. She's dead? Oh, don't worry, I'm not crazy. At least I don't think so. my mama. Uh, should I go with you? This town really is dangerous. Now I know what you meant back there in the cemetery. No, it's okay. I... Besides, I'd just slow you down. What, what, what about that? I... Will you hold it for me? Sure. No problem. If I kept it, I'm not sure what I might do. No! I'm sorry! I've been bad! Please don't! scene is so heartbreaking. She has the saddest story of them all, is Angela. Alright, once you get the knife, you'll be put here in front of this little table. You're going to grab this key. It's called the resilience key. We're going to go back out 109, go back onto the first floor. We're going to go all the way down the hallway. We're going to skip every door. We want to get to the very end. Yes, yes, all very terrifying. Get to this white double doors. Go here, use the key of resilience. Pass through here. Okay, so this next room, you'll see a giant S back there. That's the, uh, that's the door we want to get to at the very end. James will mark it. We're on the first floor. So from here, it's pretty easy. You just gotta kind of follow the path. Real simple. Go all the way around. What we want to do is get to this door. Go up this door, get, a, get to up the stairwell. Gonna take a right. This will unlock the stairwell for the second floor. We're going to go out here, take a left. We want to go back to 212. 212 should be right here. And now that we have the minute hand, install the minute hand, and we're going to put it to 2. The minute hand will now open up the M room, which is room 202. So go back out to the second floor. Uh, 202 is M and is known as the moth room. It's the moth room puzzle. The answer here is simple. It's actually three, seven, three, three, seven, three. Goes ahead and undoes it. Go through the door. We gotta put our hand back in something again. Gross. It is just gnarly. In this game, it's so uncomfortable. Ugh. Can you imagine? Ugh. But this should get you the second hand. Perfect. We're gonna get out of room 202. Go out to the second floor. Go back to the clock. Go to the clock. Install the second hand. We're gonna push that to three. Does the final piece. Remember that S door we were looking for? Well, we have to go back out the first floor, but you have to go back out to the second floor room. We're gonna hang it right, we're gonna go back down the staircase that here that we opened up and unlocked, go back down to the first floor. And again, we're just gonna follow the path. It's pretty simple. 
grab our gun, go back into this room, and then there's the room with the giant S. What we want to do is grab these bullets, reload, and get ready for a fun boss fight. I'm gonna shut up now. And it's Pyramid Head, just unload. Okay, once he gets close enough, he's gonna start doing his little, like, throwing his uh, sword at you. What I do is I just go in a circle. I just grab all the stuff first. I'm gonna grab all the bullets in the area. Just kinda just stick to the wall. Okay. Grab all the bullets. Okay, now that we have all the bullets, you want to reload. You should be right there. Let's let him have it. I break. Okay, so now it's just a survival part. Now you just kind of just... He's just going to move faster. You just want him to keep moving. Just keep him moving, keep your distance. He's gonna do his thing. It's just a timed fight, really. It's not that hard. So see how I have no bullets? I'm just gonna let him just throw his tantrum. See how it's raining, too? It's so cool. I love how he busts everything, too. Come on, sunshine. Come here, pyramid head. Whoa. Whoa, we're getting real angry about this, aren't we? Come on, Pyramid Head. You want some of this? Yes, you are. You're such a good enemy, aren't you? Oh, he tried to grab me. Come on. A little bit more. Whoa. That would have hurt. Come on, sweetheart. Oh, he got me. Whoa. All right. That's the end of the fight. What I've learned is... Here's something that's really fun, ready? When he's walking toward the door... Watch. He will straight up attack you. See? <laughs> Just let him walk to the door. So don't, don't mess with Pyramid Head when he's leaving. forward. You're the famous siren from Silent Hill. And bada bing bada boom, we are done. That is the entire Blue Creek Apartments. And all the cutscenes fighting Pyramid Head in under 20 minutes. Thank you again for watching. My name is AJ and I'll catch you next time. Bye.